How long does it take you to notice that one of your routers in your network is offline? Or probably an interface in one of your core switch just was shut down? Now, if the answer to these two questions is, I don't know, it means that you don't have a network monitoring solution. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install one for free that you can use in your lab environment or in a production environment. This is actually one of the tools used in NOC Network Operations Center for many companies. This tool is WhatsApp Gold and not is not related with uh, WhatsApp from Meta, Facebook, whatever they call it these days. This is WhatsApp Gold, a monitoring solution company that essentially allows you to monitor different devices in your network, uh, routers, switches, servers, uh, you name it. And the best is that you can use it for free. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is to download the software directly from WhatsApp Gold official website. And I'm going to share the link to this page in the video description. And once there, what you have to do is to download WhatsApp Gold free edition. Now, this free edition is a limited version and it allows you to monitor up to 10 devices. Now, if you want to have the software with all its uh, functionalities, all different features, then you can request a 30 day evaluation license. OK, now you're going to uh, fill with your name there, Celesio. Carvalho, uh, the company name, uh, Avenue, and then the business email. Now, the business email doesn't have to be like a company email. It can actually be Outlook, email, Gmail, or uh, whatever email you use, even for personal use. And just make sure that the email that you use there is going to be used to send the activation key that we're going to need in the next step. OK, OK, so now let's begin the installation. OK, we're going to select the language. Now the installation method, we're going to select the standard one and click on next. And we're going to accept the license agreement terms and click on next. Now in case it shows this warning, just ignore it and click on next. Now to activate this software, we need the license activation key. As I said, this is going to be sent to your email address. So I'm going to paste the license activation key and I'm going to use the offline activation mode because this machine is not connected to the internet. Okay, so now I'm going to use offline activation mode and click on next. And I'm going to activate offline. And so now I have to follow all these steps in order to get the license file from uh, WhatsApp Gold. So I'm going to follow these steps and we're going to continue once I get the license file. Okay, the installation is completed. So now let's log in with the credential we just defined. Okay, this is it. WhatsApp is installed. So now we have to make it discover the network device that we have. And so I'm going to use the this topology, but essentially I'm just going to focus on these four devices. So switch 11, switch 12, switch 13, switch 14, and this router. And we want to see if uh, WhatsApp God is going to discover those devices and a lot more. But before we start the discovering process on WhatsApp, we have to prepare these switches or these devices to be discovered. WhatsApp Gold uses different applications or protocols to discover the network devices. And one of the applications that we're going to use is going to be SSH or Secure Shell. Uh, SSH essentially allow us to access remotely the network devices uh, via secure way instead of using Telnet, although WhatsApp Gold also supports Telnet. And the other application that we're going to use is SNMP. OK, so SNMP will, will allow us to collect things like uh, interfaces, the number of interfaces, the interface status, uh, whether change is detected on the network device, uh, whether the device is uh, online or not. So this kind of information. So we have to set up the devices in order to provide this kind of information to WhatsApp Gold. So I've already configured uh, switch 12, 13, 14 and R15. So I'm just going to show you how to do it on switch 11 because the configuration is going to be essentially the same. OK, so to configure the switch, I'm going to use this script. So essentially, this is a basic configuration, saying IP address and enabling SSH. I'm going to copy this and paste. And this is going to take a while to uh, create the keys and enable SSH. OK, SSH is enabled. So now I'm going to copy this and I have to change this to only SSH. And I'm going to remove this because we're already inside the configuration mode. 
and this host IP address this is where I have WhatsApp gold install so this is this machine IP address so I'm going to copy this and paste okay so this is done so now let's go back to WhatsApp gold and let's start scan now okay so we're just going to uh, scan a range of ip others in my case is going to be 192.168.43.61 and to 192.168.43 i believe that's going to be 65. okay i don't need to set the gateway so uh i don't need to detect this as well storage device next uh exclude hidden so just keep on next now i have to add the credentials that whatsapp gold is going to use to collect that information on the network devices so first let's add snmp v2 and this i'm just going to name it as snmp uh credential credential and the read community is going to be public so it means that um WhatsApp Gold will be able only to read this information on the network devices, not to make change. So I'm going to save this. Okay, next we're going to add the SSH credential. And name is going to be SSH credential. The username, this is going to be the user just created. And password, CCA65745. CCA65745. Okay, uh, we're not using enable passwords. Okay, just going to save this. Okay, so I have these two credentials, uh, SNMP and SSH. So next, uh, prefer SNMP. Yes, we keep default. And we want um, uh, WhatsApp Go to keep monitoring this device and polling this information, auto discovery all the time. So click on next, next. And now we're going to let it run. Now, it's going to take a minute or so, uh, depending on how wide is your range. In my case, there are only five devices, so it's going to take like around five minutes or so. Okay, the devices were discovered, so we can see that it found switch uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, and even the router. So it's only discovered. It doesn't mean that it's monitoring them. So to start monitoring them, we're going to select all the devices. And we're going to click here on start update monitoring and we're going to just double confirm that are the five devices and we're going to start monitoring them and so it's going to prepare to monitor devices and now in about a minute less than a minute we're going to see okay these devices are ready to be monitored okay so we can see now it's going to change here the display to green so it's okay it means that now they are being monitored okay which means that the devices now they are also here in the inventory page and we're going to see them so we have router and the other are switches okay great now we can take a look at uh, more detailed information uh, like uh, let's take a look at the properties and in case we want to change or update something here so we are collecting cpu uh, interface uh and also we are monitoring so in case this device becomes unavailable or not and we can change uh or tune how often uh whatsapp god is going to monitor this device so for instance um it's going to check the information uh, on the network device every 60 seconds and we can change these to uh, less time so in certain environments we might want to collect these like every five seconds or 10 seconds and so let's do this for all the devices so i'm going to close this and just select all of them and let's select here to edit devices polling set polling interval and let's change these to 10 so that's the minimum uh value that it accepts and we're going to uh, apply this okay so what else can we check so okay let me select all of these and we can also take a look at status and we'll get some more detailed information such as uh, cpu uh memory interfaces so we can see so response time so okay we see the interfaces as well 
uh status okay what else do we have here okay nothing and we can also let's see analyze let's go to dashboard okay yep home dashboard so it might take some time to display all the information because it's still collecting these uh we have see five devices okay so for instance let's look at top 10 okay and here we're going to have a summary about all the devices so here we have cpu utilization so it doesn't collect anything about disk but because all of these values are being collected through snmp if we want we can uh add those values or correct these snmp values on the, the on the switches or even in the router so let's see so here i believe there is one field yes here we can see uh how much traffic is passing through the interface and yes we can also take a look at actions and alerts so actually let me do this so r15 let's let's shut down one of the interfaces so all of them are down so let me just actually shut down this one zero zero and we should get uh, notification here on this device so if we go back so for instance overview uh, we want to see that one device is down okay it didn't update yet so let's go just to refresh this so right now i detected that okay cpu looks like it's down okay we can see interface performance it's complaining so what about overview so didn't update yet so if we go to network yeah we have information there that it's down so let me do this let me bring it up so no shot and no shot yeah let's enable this interface here to no shot as well and we can see this is as soon as we make the changes so whatsapp gold is collecting this in real time another cool feature is that whatsapp gold will also create a network topology around the devices it discovers so we can take a look at display map and it's going to try to draw uh the devices how they are connected based on information such as uh, cdp so that's cisco discovery protocol and you can see that it looks like our real topology so we have switch 11 12 13 14 and 15 and 15 is connected to switch 12 and we can also kind of organize this the same way so for instance i can bring switch one there switch 12 here okay and yeah just like we have this in the physical topology so we have switch 11, 12, 13, 14, and R15 is directly connected on switch 12. Great. And we can also go back to device list. WhatsApp Gold is often used in network operation center. So they have a dedicated uh, dashboard here for NOC. So we go to NOC viewer and we're going to select one of the decks here. So for instance, activity overview. And we're going to get like a summary uh, about all the alerts and also about all the networking devices. So we have the router and we're going to see here the uh, notifications. Uh, so, for example, if we disable one interface, so zero two, uh, we're going to see a critical notification in a minute or so. OK, the interface wasn't detected because probably this wasn't added on WhatsApp Gold yet. So let's close this and let's go to inventory and just rescan uh r15 just to include those interfaces so i'm going to let it run in the background okay let's see if the interface was updated so let's take a look at status and we should see that now it has uh interface 01 and 02 as well so if we go back to uh, dashboard, knock view and select activity overview. Okay, so now let's shut down one of the interfaces. So this is going to generate an SNMP trap and should see uh, 
this being updated here so so no this is not the one so let's go back to previous slide um, try to refresh this and yeah we can see him just going to okay expose so you can see our our 15 critical uh, warning and interface and interface 01 is down and there are other features that you can try by requesting the 30-day evaluation license like the network change configuration management to detect changes in real time so every time someone makes a change on the network device you get notified directly on uh, whatsapp gold or to use it as a syslog server to receive the logs directly from the network devices so that's how you monitor cisco devices with whatsapp gold so if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one